morning guys or actually good late afternoon i'm wearing a hat because my hair is just ridiculous today um i realized it was wednesday it's wednesday right now actually um i realized it's now wednesday afternoon late in the afternoon and i have not vlogged at all this week i've been having such a rough week like makes me want to cry just even thinking about it right now but nothing bad's happened today and it's one of those weeks where like it's not one bad thing that's happened or even really like bad things in general. It's just like four million tiny frustrating things have come up. And so last night I literally just laid in bed. I got in bed at eight o'clock, got in bed and I just have cried for like two days because I'm just so bummed out. Like, I don't know. Um, just things that I don't like necessarily feel comfortable talking about. Um, but thank God my sweet husband is such a good man. He literally is just like, I don't know how to help you. So I'm just going to sit here quietly and peacefully and play with your hair and comfort you and just hope that that makes it better. Because usually like, you know, he's a man. He tries to give advice. And most of the time, like he's learned. I'm like, babe, I'm just frustrated. Just let me cry. Just let me vent. You don't have to give me advice. I promise I'm good. I know that sounds so bad, but like he just always wants to like help it and fix it and be a fixer. And but last night he just like laid beside me in bed and he was like, it's going to be OK. It's not that big of a deal. And I was like, I know I'm just so upset. Like, I'm just so frustrated. So hopefully it'll get better. And I really wanted a big, big ass glass of wine, but I'm trying to cut back on like drinking my calories. Um, that's kind of like the biggest thing that I'm doing right now that I've noticed is like I get the bulk of my unhealthy calories from the drinks that I drink. So wine, sweet tea, it's just not good for you. So I've been cutting back on that. I've also been eating like a lot healthier. So I felt a lot better the last few days. Um, there was usually Sundays are like my really tired nap day. And like I have to work on the weekends for my blog, for my YouTube stuff. So this past Sunday, I got up at like 6 a.m. and I worked out and then Sam made me like the best eggs. I don't know why the best eggs I've ever had in my life. And I had an insane amount of energy on Sunday. So I've been eating a little bit healthier. So I've been feeling better. I've cut down on dairy. Quick little <laughs> health update. Um, I've cut down on dairy. I mean, I ate cheese yesterday. So it's not like I'm, oh, I'm not doing dairy. Like I've just cut back on it. I used to eat a lot of cereal. Haven't had cereal in almost a week. And I feel so good every single day. Um, and I crave healthier things. I've changed out my milk for almond milk now. So, so delicious. So that's just kind of an update, but hopefully the rest of the week gets better. I always look like this when I work from home. Um, I'm just, I think, I think I'm just, I am in a rut and everybody has them. It's called life. It's being a human. It's normal and it is okay. And I'm just going to ride through this wave and ride it out and keep praying and being thankful and grateful. And that's like, you know, just something that I'm going to do. So right now, I'm actually going to at 4 p.m. in the afternoon because my husband is working super late today. Um, I'm just going to go grab lunch at 4 in the afternoon, which is so stupid. But I really want a Zaxby salad. Sam did the worst thing last week. He took me on a run and then he was like, I really want a Zaxby's salad. And I was like, okay, like I like salads. I do, but I don't know. I feel like sometimes restaurants have, um, like their salads just aren't good if they're fast food restaurants like Chick-fil-A, Zaxby's, because the salad's cold, but the meat is hot. That's kind of weird for me. Or sometimes like the meat is, you know what I mean? So he took me to Zaxby's and we had a salad. I have literally craved that same salad every single day. I think I had it yesterday for lunch at work, Monday for lunch at work. I'll have it today. I think we did that on Thursday night and I had one on Friday. So like I, I just can't go without it right now. So I guess that's a good thing that I'm craving salad. So I'm gonna go with my wallet. Yeah, my wallet's in here and so are my keys. I am like embarrassed of my car. It is so, so messy. Okay, so I'm gonna take you guys through the Zaxby's line. 
Um, hopefully I can put you in like a discreet way so they don't see me filming so you guys can know what salad I get. I'm waiting on two packages today that I know of. Hopefully a third one will come. Um, I'm waiting on some Tory Burch sandals that I finally ordered. I finally ordered those like Miller sandals that everybody talks about. I hope they fit. Someone said to size up half a size after I'd ordered them and I got my true size. So we'll see. I'm going to be very sad if I have to return them. I'm also waiting for, what else? Um, lingerie for a shower I have coming up. Not for me, obviously. These glasses are ridiculous. Tomorrow, I'm supposed to get some self-tanner in. So I had used the Jergens Instant Sun. Loved it, but it was way too light. Like, I guess when they mean, like, light tan they mean light tan because it was barely darker than my skin so don't get the light tan if you get the Jer jergens instant sun so okay let's get going okay let's be discreet about this guy No, thank you. Can I just get the fried house salad with ranch dressing? Anything else? Nope, that's it. Thank you. I don't get a drink because, like I was saying, I'm not going to be drinking my calories. And I know that Diet Cokes are zero calories, but they're not good for you. And they give me headaches and they're addicting. <laughs> like my mom is addicted to Diet Coke. And I mean that my entire life. She's been addicted to Diet Coke. I don't even care if it's fried because um, the way I look at it is like it's better to eat fried chicken and salad than fried chicken and fries. That's my little <laughs> feel good about myself moment. Um, but I think it's like 700 calories for the fried house salad and I'm allotted like 1600 a day so I will take it for this delicious freaking salad. Can you go please? Pull up. to go if you have a problem with your order. Thank you. That is so rude. Oh, now she's just sitting there beeping her horn. Okay. I guess she thinks they're going to come outside to her if she just beeps her horn long enough. Cool. Thank you. Okay. You too. Okay. We are out of here. Okay. So, really weird. The um, shoes came, but the lingerie did not. I don't know why. So, I'll have to see what's going on with that. Um, maybe it's coming through a different person. I'm a little nervous, like I told you guys. So, hopefully... They will. How do you open this box? These are, oh, like normal, right? Yeah. So they've got a cute little, like, packaging. I love, love, like, look at this. Look at how extra this is. I love it. Then again, if you pay this much for a pair of shoes, I mean, it better be the most extra packaging ever. And then it comes this adorable box. Oh my god, and it has a dust bag too. Look at that. So cute. <gasps> They're so cute. Oh my god, I'm so, okay, that looks like that'll fit my foot. I am so excited right now. Oh, that fits perfectly. Right? I don't know, I might need to FaceTime my mom about this. I'm legit wearing like sweatpants. Does that fit my foot? I feel like it's a little tight. I mean, it doesn't feel tight. By the way, ignore the fact that my toenails are not painted, which is disgusting. Okay, so I have to put on real pants now. Um, Tory Burch might just have the best customer service ever. Like ever. So I FaceTimed my mom and I was like, mom, do these fit? And she was like, no. <laughs> and it's so funny that that's, do you guys do that? Do you like call your mom for things that are like so stupid? I call her for 
everything. And I call her sometimes with no purpose just to talk to her. Um, but like I'll even call her like if I'm in the grocery store and I'm like, mom, where's blah, blah, blah. And she automatically knows. So I emailed them. Six minutes later, I had gotten a response, a return, and a thing that said they had like received my new not purchase but like I guess my exchange like I told the lady who was emailing me I was like I want a nine and a half like I said one email and I was like this is my order number I ordered a nine and a half I want a 10 literally got the 10 processed a return slip like an email back within six minutes so I'm going to do that right now just might be the best customer service Which I love. Like, I love it when companies have good customer service. Like, I'm here for that. You're the bomb. Diggity. And I'm excited. So, I'm going to go take them back. They're beautiful. I've never had a pair of those Tory Burch shoes before. Because they're like $200. It's a little... Like, I was like, ooh, should I do it? Because I don't, I don't ever like spending that much money on shoes. Like, ever. Or much anything I don't like spending $200 and everybody every blogger even affordable fashion bloggers rave about them so I was like okay I need to get them like they're just worth it so I'm putting my pants on now and then I'm gonna get moving oh my gosh I've got to quit vlogging when I look like this um I just got home and have something really exciting so let me try and set you guys up let's see if I can I had these magazines. It is Weddings Magazine. Um, and so this is actually a wedding magazine that um, we have like this. I don't know how other states do it. But in the South, of course, weddings are a big freaking deal. I mean, it's just, yeah. And so, I mean, they are everywhere, but you get what I mean. So there is um, this thing called the Bridal Fair and the Bridal Show or whatever. And it is this massive event that like so many vendors try to get into and want to be a part of um, for this big wedding event. And they do it all the month of January and they do them all over the state. So it's a big freaking deal. So they have this wedding magazine that they have made and it's like the Upstate's wedding magazine since 1993, right? So this girl actually married a guy who I went to high school with. She's like a model. So I get a hold of this magazine today. Look at that! That's me! Isn't that cool? So these, oh, it's just the coolest ever. So basically my caterer reached out about a month or two ago, maybe it was in December, and was like, hey, um, would you like to be a part of this magazine? Um, it so it like would be featured by homes. So actually I am like homes catering. That's who did my catering. I am like their ad, if that makes sense. So they presented our wedding. It's so cool. So I got a bunch and my mom jacked a bunch. So there's even more, but I'm really excited. This is just like the coolest thing ever. Um, that like my wedding series was so like popular and such a hit and I got to help you guys plan your wedding and now it's in a magazine so it's just really cool but um I am going to finish out this night my husband is still not home Ugh. I am gonna finish out this night by working on some stuff I've got coming up that has to do with weddings really exciting um not my own obviously because I'm already married so whatever and I think that's it so talk to you guys later hey guys so Clearly, I just got out of the shower. I um, worked out this morning, like, first thing. And then I had some stuff I had to do, so I had to, like, pause. And I was just like, Ugh. So I had to go take a shower because that was just gross. But now I am waiting for the mailman to get here with my package. He needs to come because I ordered. So let me show you guys. Um, I ordered a sun like tanner or selfless tanner self tanner whatever it's called about a week two weeks ago I think it was two weeks ago so it came in used it loved it however so it was this one 
Jergens Natural Glow Instant Sun. It's light bronze. When they say light, they mean freaking light. Like, I don't know who they thought this was for. Because it was so light that it barely even showed up on my skin. Like, I could tell that it there was a difference. But, like, Sam could kind of tell in some spots. But he was like, I just don't get why it's that light. So, I ordered the darker one. And, actually, I exfoliated it off. So, it was still there. But it was very, 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 very light. And I'm excited to get the other one in. And, hopefully, next time you guys see me, I will be much darker than this. Because, like... It's just, I'm almost transparent. I'm so pale. 